Alright, hi everyone. Today I'm going to be ranting about, obviously, maybe, maybe some of you have heard about this in the news, some of you not, maybe, um, but the whole Abercrombie and Fitch thing. I like to call it Abercrombie and Bitch. Um, pretty much the, sorry, I have, like, this thing with me just in case I need to, um, remember some things, um, but, what was his name? The 68-year-old, Mike Jeffries. Um, CEO of Abercrombie and Fitch released, um, he was interviewed and he said some pretty stupid things, some really stupid things. Um, first of all, first of all, let's just, um, let's go to a picture of him, alright? <clears throat> After I show you this, I want you to remember this image in your mind. He actually looks like a serial killer or something, it's kind of scary. But, that is him. Kind of creepy, right? Let's focus on this. Right there. Not the most pleasant thing to look at, right? So, anyways, let's go back to what he was saying, right? So, this Mike Jeffries guy, CEO of um, Abercrombie and Fitch, pretty much said in this interview that they don't sell the extra large woman. Um, they sell to extra large men for football, football players and stuff like that, but. Um, the reason they do this is because they only want to clothe people who are skit thin and beautiful people. Like, in quotes, thin and beautiful people. Um, okay, first of all, everyone is beautiful in their own way. And what does weight have to do with that? Like, what does weight have to do with someone's beauty? Um, why does thin can be a bad thing? Some people have eating disorders, and I'm not saying that's bad. Um, it's definitely a problem that they can't really control, but still, it's not something you should promote it's, it's just stupid and when you're this like old man who looks disgusting you cannot say that you're trying to cold all american people that's another thing he said um he pretty much just said he doesn't want larger people shopping in his store he wants thin and beautiful people what's wrong with you like he thinks he's super like smart and clever because he's marketing towards people who are um, towards a certain market of people, but you aren't. You, I mean, you are, but that's not helping you make more money. Lots of people who are larger have more money because they can afford to eat more food and stuff like that and such, and they have more money. And you're not letting them shop at your store is really stupid. That's just a stupid idea. They probably are big income, and now that you're doing that, well, since you're selling to them, how are you ever know how much you're going to make off of them? It's just stupid. At least experiment. Never tried, right? Um, so another thing says, um, Jeffries doesn't want his core customers to see people who aren't as hot as them wearing his clothing. People who wear his clothing should feel like they're one of the cool kids. Um, Abercrombie is only interested in people with washboard stomachs who look like they're about to jump on a surfboard. This is so stupid. Um, he says, that's why we hire good-looking people in our stores, because good-looking people attract other good-looking people, and we want to market to cool, good-looking people. We don't want to market anyone other than that. Um, and then he goes on to say, in every school there are the cool kids and the popular kids, and then there are the not-so-cool kids. Candidly, we go after the cool kids. We go after the attractive all-American kid with a great attitude and a lot of friends. A lot of people do don't belong in our clothes, and they can't belong. Are we exclusionary? Absolutely. Let's just say, I, I can't tell if this is real, like, if this is him being truthfully honest as a person, because if it is, you're a bitch, Abercrombie and bitch. Um, but if you're not, it's just some big, big publicity stunt to give them even more publicists publicization, I don't know the word, after they already do that with um, scandalous campaign ads. Like, I, why? Like, why do you need this attention? Do you need to do this? If you're, get, if you're doing this for attention, do you really need to lower your self-image, make yourself look morally wrong, just so your business gets more money? I mean, that's selling out. And then if you're not, why are you so cruel to other people? I mean, this was a big, bold move. And it's either a really smart idea or it's really stupid because people are going to stop shopping at your stores. But the reason it's so smart is because now it's in the news and everyone's going to want to go to Abercrombie. And everyone's going to want to be like looking for extra larges and they'll probably buy things. 
Um, but the other thing is that uh, they're going to lose a lot of customers, and <laughs> this was a really stupid thing to say. Um, like I said, everyone is beautiful in their own body. Um, I'm not the skinniest. I'm like 120 pounds on about 6 feet, but um, I'm a little thin, but that doesn't mean anything. I'm not any more beautiful than someone else who's a little larger than me. It just, this whole thing is just makes me mad and angry, but um, let me, let me know what you guys think down below. I'll put a link to one of the articles so you can guys can go, so you guys can go check it out, guys and gals. Um, yeah, and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and all that stuff. Um, sorry this is kind of long of me just ranting and talking, but it needed to be done because this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard of and, um, people need to be aware of it. So, don't shop at Abercrombie. I'm not going to. You shouldn't. It's stupid. I'm done shopping there. I'm done ever looking in that store. It's dumb. I mean, you hire attractive looking people. Not all of them are attractive. I'm not going to judge like I kind of am right now, but not all of your employees are super attractive and they're not going to attract super attractive people. They're going to attract all types of people. Like, what is wrong with you? I don't... It blows my mind, but whatever. This guy's so stupid. I can't contain myself. Mike Jeffries, you're stupid. You're dumb. Get alive. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go now, so peace. Have a good day, and see y'all later.